Hi guys, welcome to our section about the equilateral triangle. In this video, we're going to cover topics such as the properties of the equilateral triangle, how to find the area and the perimeter of an equilateral triangle. Let's go ahead and start fun, having fun. All right, the equilateral triangle. First, let's remember the equilateral triangle has three equal sides. So this side must be equals to this side and equals to this side. Also, every angle inside is 60 degrees. Remember, the sum of the sides of the angles inside a triangle will always be 180. Therefore, this guy is 60, this guy is 60, this guy is 60, because 60 plus 60 plus 60 is 180. Let's go ahead and do an exercise. If the perimeter of the equilateral below is 24, what is the area of this equilateral triangle? All right. First, I need to remember that the area of a triangle is one half the base times the height. The other thing is what's given. Well, the problem is telling me that the perimeter is 24, therefore I know that each side has to be 8. Now that I know this, I actually know that the base is equal to 8, but I don't know how much the height is. How do I figure that out? All right, let's go ahead and see what an equilateral is about. An equilateral is actually two 30, 60, 90 triangles because when you do an altitude, when you draw an altitude from here to here, you're going to cut the 60 degrees into 30 and 30, making this guy equals to 90 degrees and this guy equals to 90 degrees. Now you know that an equilateral is actually two 30, 60, 90 triangles. Knowing that, I remember that the ratio for these triangles was x x times the square root of 3 and 2x. Remember, for the 30 degrees is x, for the 90 degrees was 2x, and then for the 60 degrees is always x times the square root of 3. Beautiful. Now that I understand where the altitude is and how to find it, let's go back to our problem. And remember, we knew that each side was 8. Therefore, when I cut half of the triangle with the altitude. This guy here must be 4. Then, remember, this is x, 2 times x, which is 4 times 2. And finally, the height is going to be 4 times the square root of 3. Beautiful. Now that I have my height, I can go ahead and solve my problem. Well, remember, the area of any triangle is 1 half the base times the height. 1 half times 8 in this case, because remember the base is 8 times 4 times the square root of 3 is going to give me 16 times the square root of 3. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and do another one. They tell me, if the perimeter of the triangle is 6, what is the area of the triangle below? All right. Again, I know that 6 divided by 3 is going to be 2, 2, and then 1, 1. Since this guy is 6... I divide it by 2, I get all the size, I do my altitude here, then this is 1, and this is 1. Finally, I remember that if x is equal to 1, therefore x times the square root of 3 must be 1 times the square root of 3. Now I know that my area is 1 half times 2, because remember the base is 2, times the square root of 3. Remember, 1 times the square root of 3 is just the same as the square root of 3. I find my area and I get that the area of this triangle is the square root of 3. Let's do another one. Now the perimeter is equal to 9. Again, divide 9 by 3 and I get 3, 3, 1.5 and 1.5. Now you tell me how much the 60 degrees is. And I hope you told me 1.5 times the square root of 3. Now that I know this, I can just go ahead and follow the formula. The area is going to be equal to 1 half the base. In this case, remember, the base is always 3 times 1.5 times the square root of 3. And that's going to give me 2.25 square root of 3. Beautiful. Let's do another one. What about if the perimeter of the triangle is 12 times the square root of 3? I'm going to do the same thing. If I divide 12 times the square root of 3 by 3, I get that each size is 4 times the square root of 3. 
However, remember here, I need to cut it in half and I get that this is two times the square root of three and this is four times the square root of three. Now, how much is my altitude? Remember, the ratio is x, two times x, and x, in this case, two times the square root of three, times the square root of three. So if this guy is x times the square root of three, well, what does that mean? Remember, square root of three times square root of three is gonna be equal to the square root of nine. The square root of nine is gonna be three. That's why two times three is gonna be equal to six. That is, my height is equal to six. Now, I can go ahead and say that one half the base, remember the base is the whole size, times the height is equal to 12 times the square root of three. Let's go ahead and do a challenge form problem. All right, now they don't give me the area. They actually now give me that the area of the equilateral triangle below is four times the square root of three. Find the perimeter. This question is a little bit much different than the other one because now I don't know how much the size are. I only know that one half times the base times the height is equal to four times the square root of three. But I remember that an equilateral is equal to two, 30, 60, 90 degrees. So I know that this guy is x, this guy is x times the square root of three, and this guy must be two x. Look how easy now. Now I can actually figure out the base, which is 2x. I can actually figure out the height. And let's see what I can do. Remember, area equals to 1 half times the base times the height. All right, I know that 1 half times 2x, remember the base is 2x, times x times the square root of 3 must be equals to 4 times the square root of 3. Now, I do x times x, that is x squared, and then two times one half, actually would eliminate this two. Finally, I have the x squared times the square root of three is equal to four times the square root of three. I can actually eliminate these guys by dividing both sides by the square root of three. I get that x squared is equal to four, and finally I know that x is equal to two. Now I know that this size here is two, this size here is 2, therefore this guy here is going to be 4, the other side is going to be 4, and what do I get? I get that the perimeter is going to be equal to 4 plus 4 plus 4, or 4 times 3, which is equal to 12. As you can see, the equilateral is a really easy triangle, as long as you understand the properties of this guy. So I hope you had a lot of fun, and I hope to see you pretty soon. Again, thanks so much for learning.